check it out. I got my phone, my Pixel 8 Pro, charging in my pocket with my new power bank. And it is, it is nice. It is quite nice. Oh, what's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And this is by far an exciting video. And I want to share it with you guys. So for the last several months, actually longer than several months, I've gotten many people to mention Nightcore and the NB1000. I had never heard of Nightcore or the NB1000. So shout out to you guys. And actually, it's been almost a whole year since somebody first mentioned it. Now, I've gotten way more mentions than what you're seeing here regarding that. Those aren't the only people that have mentioned this product right here. So I got this thing today and my first very first thought was, oh my gosh, it feels so good in your hands. It is sleek. It has a nice like carbon fiber look to it. It's smooth as can be. It's got little rubber like things here so you can lay it down. It doesn't, to be honest, it doesn't work too well, but they're there. But, uh, this was a unit that was sent to me for free. They reached out to me. It arrived in non-retail packaging. So I got the unit itself and then a little cable. Because as you'll notice here, there's only USB-C, which is very nice. Love to see it. But if you want to use USB-A, you use the little adapter. And now you can have a USB-A device plugged into it. But taking a closer look at it. Would you look at it? Would you look at it? It says Nightcore. Again, got like some texture here. This has been in my pocket and I've realized that this thing is gonna get absolutely tore up in my pocket because there's some stuff here you can read now that you won't be able to read later. So I can't make out if you can see that on my little viewfinder, but I'll take a picture regardless. There's nothing on this side, it's completely flat, but this side gives you specifications like uh, the inputs and outputs and stuff. And then you've got some more information here. The important thing is it can do up to 12 volts, 1.5 amps for the input on both ports. It says it can do 9 volts at 2.22 amps to get your 20 watts. It also says it can do 12 volts at 1.87 amps to get 22.5 watts. I believe that's going to be my serial number. Yeah, on the bottom it says 38.5 watt hours, 10,000 milliamp hours. Taking a look here, it says in and out one, in and out two, and you have a power button four LEDs, I went ahead and fully charged this thing up because my goal is to let my phone get to a very low battery and see how much of a charge can go back into my 15 Pro Max. All right, so now we are at 100% charge, and we put 21 watt hours back into it with 2,881. All right, I'm going to bed, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this time lapse. And uh, my phone did get to 95%. The light is not flashing yet, and there's the data, so... It's barely putting anything into this. It's going to take it a little while longer to get to 100% technically. And uh, 19 watt hours, 2,465 milliamp hours. All right, so I had to plug this in just to get power and show you what happened. So after it put my iPhone at 100%, I switched it over to my Android, which is at 36%. And now it's at 62%. So I gained you know, roughly 30% or so, and now it's at 28 watt hours and then 3,683. Now I need to fully charge this thing up and see how much power I can put back into it. All right, and now the battery is completely full and it put 42 watt hours into the battery, 3,512 milliamp hours. And I just want to take a second to make you guys understand just how stinking light this thing is and how small it is. 
So when I think of thin, light power banks, this is Anchor's 20-watt PD, 10,000 milliamp hour PowerCore Slim 10K PD. This is their old 18-watt Slim with wireless charging. This is their new Zolo 10,000, so it's going to be thicker than this thing. This is Anchor's 10,000 milliamp hour, so, you know, it's roughly as thick, but slim, so it's nice and light, and this isn't too bad. Because if you think about it being in your pocket, charging your phone, that's not bad at all. But here's the thing, right? 152 grams. You know, we'll we'll make this a fair comparison and take off that. This is going to add maybe like a fraction of a gram, but 204. So 50 grams more. If you weigh it with the cable, it's 214. The 10K PD Slim is 260. The new Zolo 30Y 10K, 216. Guys, this is 150. Like this thing is so freaking light. And check it out. Compared to Anchor's Slim, it, sh it doesn't even compare. It's thinner than this thing. It's not as wide and it's not as long. I mean, it's super impressive. Compare it to this thing like dude it is not as thick like look at that all that extra thickness there and then it's not as wide or as, i'm sorry this is the thickness this is the width but yeah it's not nearly as wide it's not nearly as thick it's definitely thinner but not like a huge a lot and it's about as long as this thing so i guess in comparison this is my smallest power bank with anchor but now this is my smallest power bank and i'll tell you this feels so good it's got rubber where it needs it feels feels really good in your hands but check this out right this is why this is so huge to me look at this so you can plug this in and then plug this in and it's barely anything in your pocket this is thinner than the phone all right, so here's my 15 Pro Max without a case. And look at this. I mean, it's not thinner than my phone, but I'll be damned, it's not much thicker. It is comparable. And it's not as wide, and it's not as long. It's just it's just a tiny bit thicker than my phone. But when you add a case to your phone, now it's actually thinner than my phone. Here's my Pixel 8 Pro. It's literally the same, y'all. This is so freaking nice. I can have this in my pocket. And I can get an even shorter cable than this. This is just the one that I had right next to me. And look, I've got this thing charging at 20 watts in my pocket. This is insane. Because before I was using this thing, and that's just not... That's a whole lot in your pocket, you know? I mean, that's a bulge right there. I made a video of this, and I haven't actually used it that I can re recall besides making the video. Uh, well, okay, I guess I have because it's low. Um, I, I know I've used it, but like actually used. Anyways, this has got to be my only other option for a power bank that, you know, fits in your pocket and doesn't add too much thickness. But man, I could not be more excited to have this thing right here. That is just beautiful. Just be he beautiful. All right, so my phone is at almost 70%, so it's not gonna charge that fast. This is a tester I've been using for a while now. I'm gonna plug this in and then plug my phone in. And yeah, so if you see that, my phone's currently charging, and here it's capable of up to 20 watts. So as your phone battery becomes full, it slows down, and it charges at a much lower rate than it would if your battery was low. 20 watts is actually freaking fantastic. Now this phone's capable of charging up to 27, but this charger is only capable of 20. So we're not gonna charge our phone at its highest speed possible, but I'll be damned if I say anything negative about 20 watts. That is fast. That's gonna get your phone full in no time at all. All right, we're gonna connect up the Google Pixel 8 Pro. The 9 Pro just got announced, but I don't have one. Probably won't be getting one, and right away, Oh, look at that. I haven't even ran the test yet, and I'm seeing PPS. So that is fantastic. That means it's going to charge up your Samsung device at a very good speed. You should actually be able to get all 20 watts out of this. 
which is something that most power banks can't say unless they support PPS. And the PowerCore 10K Slim does not support PPS. This little power bank right here, I can't actually, I can't remember if it supports PPS or not, but a lot of small power banks do not support PPS. So that's amazing. All right, we have a Samsung Tab S9. It's capable of charging at 45 watts using PPS. So what can it do with this charger? So got the fast icon, says fast charging. And look at that. So normally without PPS, you're only gonna get about 14 watts. And this battery is at over 80%. So it's almost full, meaning it's not gonna charge at its full speed. So that's actually fantastic. So we'll just unplug it and plug it back in. I wanna see that fast charging again. All right, fast charging. That is actually fantastic. There are not a lot of power banks that are gonna be able to get you PPS on Samsung devices or Google devices or PPS in general. So that's awesome. Oh yeah, I missed it till just now. It says energy brick and it says NB1000. This is the latest Gen 3 model. Look at that, man. You just love to see it. All right, see this anchor power bank? It's charging at a fixed voltage. So we're only gonna ever max out at 14 watts. I'm glad I went ahead and plugged that in to show you. So we're actually gonna get a slower charge with this power bank than we are with this one. This one's gonna give us a faster charge. And this is the 10K PD Slim. So yeah, we're getting 14 watts there. This is the Walmart 10,000 milliamp hour battery bank. 14 watts, important thing to see is that fixed voltage. That means we're only gonna hit 14, that's the highest we're gonna hit. Plug it back into this amazing power bank and look at that. That's the, okay, okay, you get the point, you get the point, you get the point. PPS on this little tiny thin power bank. All right, now I'm gonna test all the protocols. I'm gonna provide power to the tester. I've got it plugged into that USB-C port and we're gonna see what all this thing can do. I mean, we know it has PPS, so that's exciting. Oh my gosh, that's actually a freaking feature-packed power bank. My gosh. So we've got FCP up to 12 volts, 1.5 amps. We have SCP for 25 watts. We have AFC up to 24 watts, 12 volts, 2 amps. We've got Quick Charge 3 Plus. It'll do 2 and 3 up to 12 volts. And then the most important thing is PD3 at 20 watts and it does support PPS. All right, one of the newer things I've been doing is plugging in a second tester. Let's give it power. All right, tester on the right is connected to uh, C1. Tester on the left is connected to C2. Let's run them both at the same time and see what we get. It's more than likely not gonna split the power evenly, 10 watts per port, but we'll see. All right, yeah, we're not gonna have power delivery on both ports at the same time. All right, with the port on the left, we're gonna plug up to 15 Pro Max. And if you can see that, it says we're capable of charging up to 20 watts. When we go to add that second device, it is going to change things. And as you can hopefully see, we're getting almost seven watts to the iPhone and we're getting right at seven watts to the Pixel. So that's about 14 watts. The moment you take one of them away, it renegotiates and it jumps up to 20 watts on this guy. All right, so you're only going to recharge this thing at about 18 watts. So it's not the fastest thing at recharging itself, but it's not bad. And also with one of them charging, can it do pass through? Let's plug in our iPhone and see if the iPhone lights up. Oh, it, it lit up. It says it's charging 66 watt or 66% currently charging. Uh, we're getting, oh, the power's ramping up too. So we're getting almost 11 watts from the wall and the little light is blinking. So yay, it appears with this quick test that you can do pass through charging using this little power bank. So what does that mean? It means with one USB-C port on your nightstand or wherever you're, you're at, you can plug in this power bank and then use the cable, other cable to plug in your phone. And when you wake up, the power bank's gonna be completely full and your phone's gonna be completely full, all off of just you know one charging source. And now let's try that with our Pixel 8 Pro here. Yep, 
It just flashed, indicating that everything's charging. On the lock screen, it indicates charging rapidly. And all we did was just switch from the iPhone to the Android, and we're getting 9 watts. I could not be more thrilled to have this little tiny cable and this power bank and have this in my pocket charging if I forget to charge my phone or if my phone's getting low or something. Now I can actually have a battery and a phone in my pocket and it's not gonna be uncomfortable. That's absolutely fantastic. Now this battery is a little expensive, but it just screams quality. 20 watts of output to your phone, recharges itself at 18 watts. It's absolutely fantastic and there's nothing else like it that I know of. I'll have a link to everything in the description below. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. If you are not following me on Twitter and Instagram, please do so. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.